The hit Amazon series The Wilds has gripped audiences hook, line, and sinker. It tells the story of a group of teens who must survive after a plane crash leaves them stranded on a deserted island. The girls tell their stories to investigators who slowly piece together what happened to them. So stay tuned and don't go away because The Wilds is back with a bang plus other related news. First up, when did The Wilds first air? You're about to find out. Despite its first season premiering in 2020, The Wilds has quickly developed a huge fan base. It features a diverse cast whose characters find themselves stranded on a a remote island, unaware that they've just become the subjects of a carefully orchestrated social experiment. Season 2 ties into the first and introduces a group of boys on a separate island. Part of the reason Season 1 was so good is that the story is told in non-chronological order, which creates an incredible sense of mystery and urgency that millions of viewers were desperate to uncover. Scenes of the girls crashing on the island and the subsequent aftermath are shown via interviews with investigators after they left the island. This continues into Season 2 with two of the girls' interviews spliced in with even more of flashbacks, and the stories of the boys on the other island unfold in a similar fashion as the girls in Season 1. The series has received some backlash for introducing a group of male characters in what was initially a show about women, but opinions are like, well, let's just say everybody's got one. Despite the criticisms, thousands of fans are happy with the current direction of the series and are eager to see more. Next up, what are some of the benefits of introducing a male cast? Let's take a look. Many fans are interested in seeing how the boys will handle being in a similar situation, so one benefit of adding males was that audience is no longer relied on the female characters to provide the tension in the series. Although there was a great deal of tension in the female group, it was all very necessary and we're likely to see more in Season 2. Season 3 of The Wilds hasn't been officially confirmed yet, but given the overwhelmingly positive response to Season 2, it's likely that Season 3 is in the works. Many fans are hoping that we'll find out more about what happened to the girls on the island, but others think they've learned enough and are ready to move on to something new. Season 2's finale episode laid the groundwork for a new season, and it's likely that writers are currently working to develop something fresh and exciting for fans. There is a great deal of Aussie actors working on the project, which isn't surprising considering it's filmed on location in Australia and New Zealand. Much of the cast members from Season 1 were Australian as well. The filming of Season 2 took place on Stradbroke Island, commonly referred to as Stratty, and the cast was half Aussie and Kiwi. For those of you who don't know, Kiwis is a nickname given to residents of New Zealand. Filming in Stratty caused some controversy as locals complained about the large amount of space the set took up and the fact that the cast was granted a mask exemption by local governments, where residents were being forced to mask up. Up next, what has happened in the wilds thus far? Let's take a look. The wilds follow a group of teen girls comprised of Fatin, played by actor Sophia Ali, Leah, played by Sarah Pigeon, Nora, played by Helena Howard, Nora's sister Rachel, played by Rain Edwards, Martha, played by Jenna Klaus, Martha's best friend Tony, played by Irana James, Shelby, played by Mia Healy, and Dot, played by Shannon Berry. While on their way to a female empowerment treatment in Hawaii, they're playing crap crashes. We come to learn that there was no retreat after all, and instead, the girls were part of an elaborate social experiment called Dawn of Eve. The leader of this experience is an eccentric, arguably insane academic named Gretchen Klein, played by actor Rachel Griffiths. So why is Klein doing this? Klein hopes to prove that women are better suited to run the world than men. No real argument there. At this point, that seems like a given. Since men have been in power, all they've done is screw things up in a spectacular fashion. We only need to look at the myriad of wars in human history to see proof of this. In the wilds, the story lines switch back and forth between the group's ordeal on the island, their lives before being stranded, and the present day, as the girls are debriefed after they're rescued by two operatives from the Dawn of Eve, Dean Young, played by actor Troy Winbush, and Daniel Faber, played by actor David Sullivan. Stay tuned and don't go away, because we're revealing everything we know about the Wilds. Next up, how did the Wilds Season 2 finale end? You're about to find out. The finale ended with Leah finding surveillance footage of a new, unwitting control group called the Twilight of Adam. Season 2 kicked off with a series of of video introductions to a group of boys. Raphael, played by Zach Calderon, is an introverted guy from Tijuana. Henry, played by Aidan Lepret. Seth, played by Alex Fitzalan, is Henry's stepbrother. Bo is played by actor Tanner Ray Rook. He's kind and a bit of a clean freak. Bo's best friend is Scotty, played by Reed Shannon. Ivan is played by Miles Gutierrez Riley. He's a smart political activist type. Kieran is played by Charles Alexander. He's a lacrosse star. And Ivan's classmate and rival is Josh, played by Nicholas Coombe. He's essentially a rich kid with issues. And lastly, we have DJ, played by actor Elliot Girola. Elliot likes tracksuits. Introducing eight new characters was a bold move, and it's a lot for audiences to take in. But fans are definitely interested, and they want to see more. Emerging from the crash, the boys sort through the physical wreckage and emotional toll of what has transpired, and all assume that their rescue is imminent. Little do they know that their ordeal is just getting started. Up next, how did the dynamics between the boys take shape? Let's dig a little deeper. The dynamics between the boys form in some pretty entertaining ways. Each of the guys falls into a recognizable role 
that we've seen before. Kieran assumes a leadership role, Seth almost seems like a camp counselor, and Henry is always cynical. Writer Sarah Stryker did a superb job of assembling this new, colorful cast of characters. Take, for instance, actor Nicholas Coombe. Coombe is really funny as Josh, whose whole demeanor screams deep-rooted alienation. Aussie actor Charles Alexander gives Kieran a certain sweetness, and Aidan LaPrette does a stellar job as Henry, who acts like a know-it-all. As we're introduced to the boys, the girls are already waist-deep into their tropical nightmare and 30 days from the time of the crash. Audiences have a front-row seat to the girls as they sink further into despair and their situation becomes even more hopeless. Like the boys, all of the girls have done an outstanding job of bringing their characters to life, and it looks like sparks are flying between Shelby and Tony. We've also seen some charming and funny chemistry going on between Pigeon and Edwards as Leah and Rachel become uber-productive in an effort to forget about their traumas. Next up, what does Gretchen observe among the girls? Let's find out. Gretchen observes a definitive contrast in the coping styles of the boys and the girls, with the boys tending to lash out at one another while the girls seemingly turn inward, which proves Gretchen's overall point that men aren't fit to lead. With that said, The Wilds does show audiences that both strategies result in their own forms of violence. Season 1 flies through its eight episodes pretty quickly and reveals some things about the girls that satisfied fans. We learned some things about the girls' island timeline, new mysteries for the larger group, and the show tackled themes of racism, sexuality, and domestic violence, issues that members of today's Me Too movement want to be discussed. At its core, though, the series is essentially about a crazy woman who terrorizes teenagers for their greater good and with a higher purpose. The season one finale ended with a real jaw-dropper. Leah's last line was, and the line perfectly encapsulates the feelings and reactions of fans who were watching because everyone was collectively thinking, WTF just happened. It's at that moment that Leah discovers surveillance footage of the boys group called the Twilight of Adam, who is going through the exact same experiences she just went through with the Dawn of Eve. Finally, is Gretchen really trying to generate a gynotopia? Executive producer Amy B. Harris says Gretchen is running a psychological experiment to see her dreams of a gynotopia come to life, where females create their own society devoid of male patriarchy. The the season 1 finale was not what was originally intended, but it was decided that it would make an excellent twist. Harris explained, What we decided on for the cliffhanger was not on the board when we first started working on the show. We came up with that, to Amazon's credit. The creatives there were like, we really want you to find that great twist. And if their goal was to create a big twist, it's safe to say that they succeeded because fans were left stunned at what they were seeing. That's a wrap for today's video. Thank you for watching.